Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, Juice Squad. It is your boy Juice here. I missed you guys. Back with another banger as always. The last time I uploaded a video was before the 2023 NFL season started. And that video was the top five sports cards I thought were gonna go up and down from the NFL season. And looking back, I was pretty spot on, but guys, I've been super busy. I'm 19 years old. I'm a manager at my job. I go to school. I'm trying to be with my girl. I got a new dog. Like a lot's been going on and I've been just super busy, but we are back. We're starting 2023 completely strong and we're going to the first card show and my first card show vlog on the channel, which is going to be the Miami card show. So we're going to go to this show with a few goals in mind. So before the season started, remember I told you guys I made that video of top five sports cards that are going to go up. And number one on that list was Jalen Hurts and I gave all my reasons. And that was actually the first big sports card that I bought. So I got into the hobby early 2022, and I love Jalen Hurts. Been a big fan of his since Bama, since Oklahoma, and I thought he was gonna be something special. And I'm a big Eagles fan. So I was like, why not invest into my own quarterback? I saw the pieces that High Roseman was making. I saw the schedule. I explained everything in the video why I wanted to get him. But I picked up two cards before the season started. We got his National Treasures RPA out of five this i actually bought this raw i got it graded it got a psa 9 super cool and then we have a spectra rpa psychedelic out of five they're both five out of five which is super cool and that got an eight there's a lot of question marks around it but I did, I did have a lot of faith in him and i'm happy i got in at these pretty cheap because i thought he was extremely undervalued heading into the season and i'm glad where we are now so the goal for the, so the first goal of this show is going to be to try to move these if you guys are interested in these if i don't move it today's show i'll probably try to move it at the fort lauderdale show next weekend or i can sell it to one of you guys over on instagram just message me my handle and everything is always going to be in the description i'm super fair we can make comps you can make your money i can make my money so that's gonna be the first goal to move the jalen hurts cards the second goal i'm gonna be going with a little bit of cash um hit dollar boxes value bins and really try to snipe right because i'm going into this hobby without a lot of money i'm going to show you guys you can make money you don't need to be spending thousands of dollars every single show you go to you can spend 50 100 150 200 and still make your margin here and there right so that's going to be a goal so we got one box for these cards we got another box for the cards i'm going to be bringing home and the third thing is just a network really just meet people um introduce myself um, just have a good time. Ask questions about who people think are going to win the Super Bowl. Obviously, I got the Eagles. <laughs> but that's kind of the goal. So I'm not going to keep you guys here too much. If you guys are interested in the content, please like and subscribe. Love you guys. God first, God bless. Peace out. Right, guys we have made it to the mall so it's in a mall this is my first time ever doing a mall type of show i think it's echoing in the mall center because the mall hasn't opened yet but it's in a mall and we're here we're ready got the water got my dog juice jr back here we got our cars we got our money we're also looking for certain young players like i'm on raw's buy i want to get uh jordan love trey lance um i think these are players that have a good potential for next year let's see what happens i'm super nervous i have no idea where i'm going because i parked on the wrong side of the mall but the lady let me in the mall opens at 12 but the show started at 10. it's like 11 something right now but we'll so it's a little let down it was a lot smaller than what i expected it's probably at the most probably 12 to 15 vendors and that's really stretching it but you know what? We have to make the most of this opportunity. I already sparked conversations with a few of them. I don't think we're gonna be able to move the Hertz today, but we could definitely make some deals, do what we gotta do. And there's profits made everywhere. Sometimes the smaller shows are better because you get more personal built relationships. So let's go in there and see what we could do. I already talked to a few people. I see, I see a Donovan McNabb gold that he offered me for like $5. So I mean, that's the look, man. Like at the end of the day, let's, let's make some money. Let's do what we gotta do. All right, Juice Squad, we went through all the value boxes so far. And this is what we got. We're going to get this stack for $80. We found this really cool Trump card. Sadly, can I get it? But I think this is super cool, super fun. Shout out to the guys at City Light Sports for us up with this amazing deal. Tell us about the hobby. Tell us about what you do. Guys, the hobby um, the hobby's pushing. It's alive and well. Um, I'm Nez. This is Ray Ray. This is AB. Um, 
it's really fun to just be out here talking, making deals, getting worked by Juice Man right here because he definitely got a good deal. Um, since you're going to ask about the Super Bowl, I'm going uh, Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. You got Eagles. How about you? Eagles all the way, baby. Let's Eagles go. all the way. Let's go. It was a pleasure doing business with you guys. $80. Let's keep it pushing, guys. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Deal number two is done. The dollar box has been conquered. Again, we're going to get this whole stack for $20. So that's my man. Snap that cards, one, two. All right, boss man, thank you for the easy deal. Oh, no, no Enjoy. All right, guys, we just picked up our final stack from the day. We got this whole stack for $20. Got some autos, some rookie patches, right? Some cool stuff. Okay, we're going to go home to the crib right now, talk to you guys a little bit in the car, and then I'll show you guys everything we got from today. Peace. All right, guys, we are back in the car. And you know what? I feel like this is a good lesson. The show does not need to be big for it to be eventful. Right. So that that place probably had at the most eight to ten vendors. Right. But we made relations. Right. We networked. I couldn't think of the word for a second. We networked. We got to know people. We met some pretty cool people. We got some really good value box deals. I'm going to go home right now. I'm going to show you guys every single thing that I got, what I paid for the lots. Like I got like I think I have them separated lots who my favorite pickup was. Right. And just we met people. We talked game. Um, I didn't record as much as I wanted to. This is my first sports car vlog. So let's let's relax on me for a second. Right. Let's not make fun of me in the comments. I know I probably could have re recorded more from the show, but um, we're going to get home, show you guys everything. And hopefully for a lot of though, and a week is way better. I already know it's going to be more vendors and hopefully I can sell that Jalen Hurts. It's way too small for anybody to buy the Hurts. Nobody's trying to buy high end. So it'd be like that. But we did get some good deals. Made some friends, made some conversation, talked about the hobby. And it was just all around a great time. So Miami Card Show, thank you. For everybody I met, thank you. And let's keep it pushing, guys. I'll see you guys when I go. Okay, Juice Squad, we are finally back at the house. And guys, look at this gorgeous box. Before we got to the show, I told you there's three things that I wanted to do. I wanted to sell the Hertz. I wanted to fill this box up and I wanted to network and meet a bunch of cool people. We definitely did two of the three of those things. So I feel like we absolutely nailed this show. Guys, I'm gonna show you what's inside this box and I am so happy. There's so many great deals that we got and we're definitely going to be making our money. So if there's two things I want you guys to take away from this episode is that one, don't be upset if the show is small. Guys, if the show is small, there's a, probably a better chance that you're gonna get deals, right? Because they need to cover the cost of their table. They wanna win back some of the money that they invested, right? So they're more likely to cut you deals. And if not, you guys are gonna be meeting people. Build relationships, guys. In business, the people you know is more important than whatever product that you have, right? Because if I know somebody that's buying and selling, we can work out deals for each other because we're comfortable. And if I see them at the bigger shows, it's more likely that they'll feel comfortable cutting me a deal than if I just met them at that bigger show. That's the first thing. The second thing is, no matter how rich you are, no matter how good you're doing, value boxes are always going to be your best friend. That's why you still see these big YouTubers doing it. Sports Car Collector to um, Sports Card Investor, Kenneth, Roth. Like They're all still doing value boxes because some people are going to be strict about their showcases. But in their value boxes, they're going to have five ten fifteen dollar cars that they just don't want to sell individually because if you, this a, a multiple amount can become very overwhelming guys but if you want to take the time and invest and if you don't have money this is where you're going to start and i love i love the value box you guys are going to see every single thing that i got and you'll see that it's plays after plays after plays before we get into this box guys if there's anything ever in my videos that you guys like that you guys want to buy that you guys are interested in Message me over on my Instagram, DM me, at Vince's Juice. Everything will always be in the description. And guys, if you send a screenshot of you being subscribed to me, I will cut you a bigger deal. I thank you guys so much for supporting me, taking the time out of your day to watch my videos, like, and subscribe. So of course, if there's a card that you want for supporting me, I'm going to support back, right? So without further ado, let's hop straight into this box and let's see how good I did. So for full transparency, I bought this entire box for $160. $160 is what I spent for the entirety of this box, right? So let's get into it. Let's see how good I did and if I'm going to be making my money back. So I want to take out a stack first, right? Just a stack of a few cards, which I think were the bigger hits of the lot that I got. And let's just go over it, right? And then we'll go into everything in more detail later. 
So let's first talk about this Kobe Bryant. So this Kobe Bryant was interesting. I didn't, this is the only card in this box that I did not get on camera. And there's a good reason for that. So after the second deal that I got, that I showed on camera, I cut the camera and we were talking about the Super Bowl. And the guy next to him joins us in the conversation. We're all just talking for like 10, 20 minutes. And I'm looking at his showcase mid conversation. I see this Kobe Bryant card, guys. And if there's one thing I'm ever gonna stress to you guys is you need to ask questions. So if you see a card in somebody's showcase and they don't have anything like priced out, right? Like if it's just like this, and you see a card that you like or something that's unique, ask them guys, you might never know what they're going to say. So I saw this, it's a Kobe Bryant rookie card. It's a die cut, it's in a PSA slab. Rest in peace, Black Mamba, right? But I'm assuming this is like a $100, $200, $300 card out of my price range for the day because I was just going for value box deals. And I asked him, so how much do you want for it? He said $20, guys. He said he wanted $20 for this Kobe Bryant die cut rookie. And I'm like, okay, let's talk about it more. So I ended up getting this for $15, right? Guys, there's comps easily on this raw and in the PSA 8 for about 40 to 55 dollars so i think i could safely get 45 to 50 and i just think it's super cool super unique this is definitely my favorite find of the show 100 percent. this is my favorite find but let's talk about the rest of it. my next biggest one is this um desmond ritter rpa freshman fabric out of um 249 so i think this one's super cool um i got it in the first lot with the first guys that i dealt with at city light sports um i got this so this and let me think it was this this mellow and the whole huge stack for 80 dollars and these two were 40 so i got these two for 40. there's comps on this for about i want to say 40 to 50 as well this is obviously gonna be way more liquid than desmond but there's still solid comps on him for 40 to 50 as well um this mellow i've only seen one comp at 25 I, i'm pretty sure i saw another one at about 30. But I'll say this is safely a $20 to $25 card, right? And then let's talk about this Trey Lomberg. So this was towards the end of the show. I got this and a bunch of other cards for $20. Um, there's comps on this for about $25. It's this Trey Lomberg's Dual Patch RPA out of $249. It is his college. And if you're new to sports cards, people don't like college all too much. But... You know, he's the new star. He's the guy who replaced A.J. Brown in Tennessee. And I think next year, if they get a quarterback, he could have a bigger year. So that's what I liked. And finally was this DJ Moore um, auto. This was with the Traylon Burks. I got it for 20 and the rest of those cards. So this is about $10. So in this stack right here, if this was about 40, 50, we could put this at 45. This is about 40, 50, we can put this at 45. This is about 25. This is about 25. This is about 10. This is $150 right here. Obviously, we don't know if I'm gonna get 150. I might cut deals for people, but we're looking at roughly, if we get exactly what comps are, $150 right here. We bought this entire box for $160, right? And the rest of the cards in here, I promise, are at least worth five to $10 each. There might be two, $3 cards in here as well. But guys, there's literally about almost 100 cards in here. And we have $150 worth of value right here. That's why you love the value box. So let's dive into the rest of these cards and let's see how we did. So let's do the first stack that we got. Let's do it by stacks. Cause I did section them out like that. So this is gonna be the first stack. And another thing I love about value boxes is PC. So I'm a big Eagles guy. Eagles and Georgia Bulldogs, those are my teams. Those have been my teams since young. Right, since I was a kid, I've been an Eagles fan since it was Deshaun Jackson, Michael Vick, LaShawn McCoy. I've been a Bulldog fan since, oh my gosh. I know it was before Todd Gurley, I was a kid. It's like since AJ Green time, when AJ Green from the Bengals used to be over there. But, so when I find cards like this, like this is probably one of my favorite pickups at the show. It's probably dirt cheap. I didn't even check prices on it. Like I just wanted it. Probably dirt cheap, a limited RPA Deshaun Jackson out of 50, right? Thought this was super cool. 18 out of 50. Um, Deshaun Jackson patch. Thought this was super cool. So this is a PC card. Something that I just really like. When I'm going through value boxes, guys, if you guys are wondering what cards you should look for, you always want to look for, you have to know the sport a little bit, right? So you guys want to look for players that you know are going to have a little upside or players that have a little hype to their name. And I don't go for base cards, right? You might see some here and there just because I wanted to add it to add a little value. 
but I either go for patches um, or numbered parallels, right? So numbered parallels and patches are where you're gonna be making your money. So we have this Justin Fields rookie sweaters patch, um, rookie card. Nothing crazy right there. Kyle Trask, with Tom Brady retiring, I do like Kyle Trask a lot. We have his um, premier patch. Nothing special, probably like a $5 card here. We have this Tyler Boy, the third of the third head of that wide receiver trio, his rookie patch from Absolute. Another $5 card. Told you guys, I love them Eagles. I'm always gonna buy anything Eagle related, if the price is right, of course. Devontae Smith turning pro patch. Right, like another $5 card, guys. Like, we did good, guys. Trust me. Derwin James, he's um He's definitely a Florida guy around here. So in South Florida, he sells pretty decent. Um, see, you got the state of Florida in there. Out of 99, Patch, Origins, about a $10 card. We have this Debo Samuel, Don Rest Threads. Patch, about probably like a 3 to $5 card. Nothing crazy. Rondale Moore, rookie Patch. Rondale Moore was that dude. If you guys watched him in college, for Purdue, he was absolutely insane. Pick this patch up. We have a green Osar. Oh gosh, <laughs> Pat Fryermuth. I am so sorry. I zoned out for a second. Green Osar patch. Super cool, right? And then we have a Najee Harris rookie patch, right? Like these are the type of things you find in value boxes. Where, like I said, I got that whole lot for eighty, so I spent forty on those two. And I spent 40 on this stack right here, right? So the, the stack that we're going through right now, I spent 40 on that. And then on the LaMelo and the Desmond Ritter, I spent 40 on those. We have a Travis Kelsey uh, Crown Royale um, die cut rookie card, right? Super cool. He's about to, he's in the Super Bowl right now. I hope he loses. I hope the better Kelsey wins. But thought this was extremely cool. We grabbed another Chief. Sky Moore with everybody hurt. He's definitely going to be getting more reps, right? Rookie patch out of, that wasn't a number. Nope, this guy was a number, but still cool. A rookie patch. We have another crown royale, Kyler Murray though. Kyler Murray rookie. Not numbered, but still super cool. I think towards the bottom here is just more like generic stuff now. We have a Davis Mills uh, blue scope rated rookie. Justin Fields base rated rookie. Jamar Chase base rated rookie, Jamar Chase base prism. Like I said, I really I don't really go for bases, but it added to the value, right? Like I just want it to be at 40. Sam Howell, I think, is a decent buy for next year. Nothing crazy, but his numbered out of 99. Um, pretty decent. Jalen Waddle, die cut out of 349. Oh, I think it's like a three to five dollar card. Kenneth Gainwell, my guy. Oh my gosh, has he been turning up for us this playoff series? Um, he's been absolutely amazing for us. This is a super dirt cheap card, but I needed him because he is amazing. We have this Peyton Manning, uh, Bowman Chrome, second year. I think it's like a $5 card. Kyle Trask, like I said, with Tom Brady retiring, I think he's going to step up. And if he doesn't, it is what it is. We have this Desmond Ritter base. We have this Jalen Green um, Gala rookie card. Trey Lance, I do think he's going to be the man in San Francisco next year. Um, Sam Howe again, but this is like a little like Pulsar um, variation. It's super cool. Um, this is like a $5 card. That boy, this man, the myth, the legend, Jalen Hurts. This guy, I love this card. A Devontae Smith Classics Gold. Not a true gold, though. I think it's out of 60, 21 out of 60. Donovan McNabb Gold. Guys, like I said, if I see an eagle and it's a decent eagle, I'm buying it 100%. I'm looking for Jason Kelsey cards. I That is probably my favorite eagle of all time right now. And then we have a Matt Corral um, base. So we got that whole stack for this stack for $40. And then the LaMelo and, why can't I think of it? Desmond Ritter for about 40. There you go. This was the second stack. No, this was the last deck. This was the last deck. This was the one with the Trey Lombergs. All right, so we have this Trey Lance uh, rookie patch. Not numbered, but still super cool Trey Lance rookie patch. We have this Jordan Love. I think Jordan Love is probably gonna be one of my most aggressive buys going into the next season. I think what he did against Philly, like in that fourth quarter, definitely showed me that he had potential. 
And if you put the right piece around him, him and Christian Watson, if you give him actual time to run the offense, they have that whole thing going on with Aaron Rodgers, which is just crazy to me. But I think if Jordan Love gets a start, he is going to make leaps and bounds. His card is going to go up dramatically. This is not financial advice, but you definitely should go buy Jordan Love. So we have this Derrick Henry Spectra High Voltage Patch at a 75. I think we got this lot for $20. I don't remember. Some of the lots got mixed up. I just know I spent 160 We have this Jared Goff Prestige Patch. Super cheap, but I think Jared Goff with the Lions next year is going to be super good. As you can see, we're in Florida, so there's a bunch of Kyle Trask here. So we have another Kyle Trask Select Patch. Not numbered, but super cool rookie patch. And then here are some of the cooler things. Like, I love seeing old players that... Oh, I call them old. I'm sounding super young. But um, I did love watching Steve Smith. And Cam Newton used to be my favorite quarterback. So we have this Steve Smith 2013 certified number out of 49. Like, these are, like, some of the random things that you'll find at card shows. Right? So this is out of 49. Steve Smith. Super cool, super cool patch. And then we have a Cam Newton rookie patch guys a literal cam newton crowd wear out rookie patch out of 299 tell me it does not get better than this guys these are value boxes bro this is not in somebody's showcase this is lumped in with a bunch of base cards right this is super cool and then we have this t higgins um R uh, not rpa wow <laughs> rookie patch out of 199 super cool Super cool, super cool, guys. Then we have these Joe Burrow Ball Hogs second year patch, right? Yeah, second year patch. Um, super cool. Like I said, most of these are five, ten dollar cards, some three here and there. And then we have this Jared Goff National Treasures Colossal Patch out of 99. I think this is like a five, ten dollar card. I'm loving it, man. Like the value box is so good, guys. Like, you are going to find so much value in the value box. And then this was the second deal. Uh, the one where I was talking to the gentleman that I got. This stack, I know for a fact, that I got for 20 Bunch of lower-end cards here. Um, I like the Fleer Meadows. I think they're a really cool insert. So you have this Jalen Green Fleer Metal Universe. Another Jalen Green. Um, Arc Weld. Josh Giddy Fleer Metal Universe. AI... Oh my gosh, love this man. Trey Mann, Rated Rookie Hollow. Michael Jordan Goody. Another Cam Newton rookie card. It is just his base though, nothing crazy, but super cool. Trey Lance Playbook Purple rookie card. And we got some basketball, it wasn't all football. I think the rest of these are basketball. We have Sangoon. The only reason I know him is because of um betting guys no i'm kidding but sangoon's been balling out for the houston rockets another sangoon blue shimmer a franz wagner blue shimmer Devontae smith playbook uh sangoon cracked eyes ao oh, i'm gonna mess it up dosanume and miles mcbride cracked ice that is everything that we got in the value box, guys. I absolutely loved it. I enjoyed my day entirely. I met so many amazing people. And on top of that, we made a lot of good deals. I think that we made a ton, a ton, a ton of good deals. I cannot complain at all about the deals that was made. And I think I made my money. I definitely think that we did good. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the deals. If there's any cards that you're interested in, what was your favorite pickup of the day? that I got. Let me know down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. Let's get their juice squad. I love you guys. I'll try my best to post everything on Instagram. Try my best to set it up. But I love you guys. God first. God bless. As always, peace out, juice squad. See you guys in the next video. Fort Lauderdale, here we come. Let's get it.